Raise your hand if you want to be happier. Okay, second question. Raise your hand if any part of this sounds like it might be your morning routine. You wake up tired because you went to bed too late. You grab your phone, check your email or social media, already beginning to feel bad about yourself because you're overwhelmed by all the things that you have to do today that you didn't get done yesterday and you're already spinning in this comparison circle. You walk to the bathroom with your phone, rush off, chug some coffee for that much needed caffeine rush, and you drink it absentmindedly with some TV noise in the background. If any of that sounds like it might be part of your day, stick around as they go over how you can leave this way of living life and begin to live a happier life today. Welcome to Create Your Fate, where we retrain old self-limiting beliefs into a positive mindset. If you don't know me, I'm Life Coach Meg Ellis, here to guide you to stop thinking about what you don't want and help you focus on what you do want so you can create the life that you want. Today, I review three simple steps you can take to instantly begin to live a happier life. No, personal growth is not about instant gratification. However, these steps, even if you take one of them, will get you started in the right direction so you can begin your happiness journey right now. One, start saying no. I know this is the big one. Ask yourself this though, do you say yes more than you say no? Okay, ask yourself this, do you say yes when you really want to say no? Do you say yes before you even know what you're agreeing to? Do you say yes based on what you want to be able to do and not on what you actually can do? Do any of these lead you to overcommit where you're committed to two things at once and you begin to think, oh, well, I'll figure it out later and you you put it off and you stay in the dread about the confrontation about canceling on somebody and you just cancel on one of them last minute because you finally realize, hey, I can't be in two places at one time and yeah, that's definitely a better idea to last minute cancel. That is not going to lead you to a happy life. I'm just here to tell you, you have got to untrain your brain from automatically saying yes and into saying no. And if you do not know how to do this, subscribe so you don't miss my whole series dropping in the next couple of weeks on how to learn how to say no and not feel guilty about it. Two, set healthy boundaries. When you hear the word boundaries, do you panic a little on the inside and automatically think you're going to have a difficult conversation that's just going to end up with you feeling guilty so you might as well just not say anything anyway? Yeah. What if I told you that learning to set healthy boundaries will actually allow you to enjoy the people you enjoy even more and you give less of yourself away? There's so many benefits of boundaries. Boundaries help you build better self-esteem. Boundaries help you build better self-esteem and they help you get clear on who you are, what you want, and your values. They will bring focus to your your mental well-being, your physical, your emotional well-being, and they allow you to avoid burnout. You can develop a strong sense of independence and your own sense of identity. And again, if you don't know where to start when it comes to setting boundaries, make sure you subscribe because they will not be super scary to you. I promise if you watched my series coming up uh, on setting healthy boundaries. Three, learn how to be bored. Think about it. When was the last time you were bored? Honestly, what is so bad about being bored? Sitting there, even for a few moments, literally doing nothing. Grind culture has us so strapped to feeling like we should be doing something all of the time, like we constantly have to be stimulated, and we've actually been conditioned to fear boredom. You check a box and immediately go on to the next thing on your to-do list. Grind, grind, grind. I always have to be doing something, always. So I constantly multitask, and I always have to distract myself. Distract yourself from what? In the car, on the phone, walking down the street, on the phone. At dinner and your friend goes to the bathroom, better check my phone. Going to the bathroom and taking your phone in with you. Y'all, this is wild that we have adopted this as normal behavior, right? These automatic behaviors. You don't even have to think about doing them. You're just a zombie distracting yourself from what? Your thoughts? Is it really that bad in there? Are you afraid to have five minutes to yourself to actually start to untangle all of the thoughts that are stuck in there? What if you had a few minutes to yourself undistracted to actually think about the task you checked off? 
Figure out what worked, what to do again, what didn't work, what not to do again in the future, and actually take a moment to be proud of yourself. Give yourself five minutes. Start with two minutes. Every day, just sit around and do nothing. See what happens. Again, if you do not know where to start, subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes on learning how to be bored and why it is going to be a complete game changer for happiness. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for sticking around. Be sure to subscribe if you want more content like this. Tell me what was your biggest takeaway in the comments. If you want more on how to be happier, check out my upcoming series. And the whole podcast is actually streamed on all audio platforms. The link is in the show notes. And of course, I'm going to leave you with one final thing. Expect good things always, and they will happen.